My dear kids, hello. You are all so lovely. I hope you are doing great. I am Shalini from Badasna Metric I Secondary School, Arakonam. So children, I have written something for you. Let's see that. Okay. So just join with me. Bet, bet, it's time to get in bed. Yes, 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 I want to get in bed. Good, good, sleep is good for you. Yeah, 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 I like it. Who? Story, story, it's time to read a story. Yes, 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 I want to read a story. Good, good, story is fun for you. Yeah, 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 I like it. Who? My little baby, now you can sleep. We all do and make it peace. Oh, this sounds good. Okay. So this rhymes denotes that the child is asking his mother to tell a story before sleep. So there is a clue for our today's topic in this rhymes. Can you find it? Let's see who's going to find it. Okay. Yeah, honey, you're right. It's all about a child who's asking his mother to tell a story. Good. So, children, today I'm going to teach you an interesting poem, Tell Us a Tale, written by Edward Shirley. Tell us a tale. So, tell means saying something. Us, your tale. What do you mean by tale, children? Tale means your Story. Tale means a story. So written by Edward Shirley. So who is Edward Shirley? Edward Shirley is an English author and a mountainer. Whom do you call as mountainer? Mountainer means a person who climbs the mountain and reaches the top. So these person are called as mountainer. Okay? Have you ever listened to the fairy tale children? Which fairy tale is your favorite? Oh, it's Cinderella. Yeah, ma'am, to love that fairy tale a lot. Then, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's a quite interesting story. Then, oh, Sindabad. Yeah, it's an adventurous, little adventurous story. That's good. So, these are called as fairy tale. But, what do you mean by a fairy tale? A fairy tale is a story that makes us to believe that it had happened Truly, so that it has happened truly. So that is called as a fairy tale, a story which is not true, which is a fictional story. Okay, so this is called as a fairy tale. Clear? So now, let's see the characters in the fairy tale. So look, you can see off boy and a half animal and you can see a horse has wings and a crocodile has a wings and you can see the angelic character here. And you can see the girl who is having a snake head. So these are all some unusual thing in the fairy tale. So these are all called as fictional characters. Okay. So they are not real. They are fake. Okay. So children, you all may confuse in a topic. So what is the topic of the poem? Yes, it is tell us a tale. It is tell us a Tale. What is the difference between the tale and a tale? Tell the difference between the tale and tail. Yeah, it's here. What is the meaning of a tail? Back part of an animal. And what is the meaning of a tail? A story that is not true. So this thing is called as homophones. What do you mean by homophones? Homo means same. Homo means same. Phones means sounds. So, the words which has a same sound but different in spelling and meaning. So, this is called homophones. So, have you all clear? Yeah. So, we are now we are discussing the story tale. Okay. Now, let us look into the poem. Tell us a tale, dear mother, a fairy tale. Do please take baby brother on your lap. We'll sit beside your knees. 
will not speak, will not stir until the tale is told and will be whole, so comfy and just as good as gold. So children, this is the first seven lines of the poem. So let's see what is happening in the poem. Before that, I would like to ask you some question. Who will narrate a story for you children? Oh, it's your mother and your grandmother. Yeah, in my childhood days, I used to listen the stories from my grandmother. She used to tell a quite interesting story and I really love it. And I just used to listen it before going to a bed. So, likewise, the children in this poem also ask their mother to tell a story for them. Okay? So, tell us a tale, dear mother, a fairy tale. Do please, please, mama, tell us a fairy tale. So, then, take baby brother on your lap, will sit beside your knees. So, what will you do? To listen the story. Okay, what will you do to listen the story? Yeah, tell me. Oh, yes, we all will run, grab and will sit near the knees of the person who tell the story. So, like us, the children also sit beside the knees of their mother. What do you mean by beside children? What do you mean by beside? Yeah, beside means nearby beside means nearby so what beside means beside means nearby so the children also sit beside nearby the mother knees okay then what happened in order to be comfortable in listening they ask the mother to keep the baby brother on their lap so what do you mean by lap lap means what Muddy, so muddy mele, aunga baby brother, okara vachikitanga. Okay, so for what? In order to listen the story in a comfortable way. Okay, take baby brother on your lap, will sit beside your knees, will not speak, will not stir until the tale is told. So then, children, how will you listen to the fairy tale? Yeah, will stay quiet and will listen the stories in a silent way, will not disturb anyone, will not interrupt and will not speak in between the story. Likewise, the children in this poem also listen to the story in a silent way until the story completes. Okay? So, this stanza is all about a, how, who narrates the story and how will you listen to the story and what will you do to listen the story. So, this is all about the first seven lines of the poem. So now let's see the second seven lines of the poem. How? Oh, there is a question here. Children, who asked the mother to tell a story? Yes, the children asking their mother to tell a fairy tale. Okay, do they make noise in between the story? No, they do not make noise until mom completes the story. So, clear? Okay, now let's see the second seven lines of the poem. What shall it be, my children, allow them and slam? Or shall I tell the story of Puss in Boots, the scamp? Or who do you like to hear the tale of Bluebeard? Fierce and grim. Or Jack who climbed the great beanstalk. I think you are fond of him. So, what shall it be my children? So children, usually when the stories are told, what will our grandmother or mother ask first? Yeah, the first question will be, what shall it be my children? What shall it be my children means, what story I want to tell to you? So, this will be the first question asked by the mother or your grandmother. So, likewise, the mother in this poem also asks, what shall it be my children? What story I want to tell to you my children? 
so she she has she has given many choices of stories which stories did the mother suggest the stories suggested by the mother are aladdin and the magical lamp puss in boots blue beard jack and the beanstalk so now i am going to tell you the all stories present here so first see the aladdin and the magical lamp so children there was a poor boy named aladdin okay he was lived with his mother so there was a rich man who came to aladdin house and called him for a work so what happened his mother agreed and he went for a work then they walked for so long hours and there was a lonely spot there so he was quite short and what happened the rich man threw the color powder on the floor then the car, immediately there was a cave in front of aladdin so he was little bit shocked and amazed of seeing that then rich man said that you have to take a gold and the old lamp from the cave what the old lamp from the cave so then what happened he went inside the cave he took the gold in one hand and he took the old lamp in other hand then what happened he came out of the cave then the rich man was asking about the old lamp but he didn't give he didn't give the old lamp to the rich man what he did he just kept the old lamp in his pocket but what happened the rich man just threw the color powder there and he went away from the cave so aladdin was stuck inside the cave and he was quite nervous and quite shocked to be in a cave then what happened aladdin was seeking help from a everybody but there was nobody in a cave he was seeking help then what happened from the whole lamp there was a genie came out of that who is a genie children yeah genie is a a demon no it's not a demon it's a magical thing it is usually called as bhoodam bhoodam tamil la vandha adu bhoodam nu solvanga so in a magical lamp the genie came out of that from the magical lamp then what happened the genie came out and it helped aladdin from the cave okay he told aladdin to come out of the cave so then what happened aladdin went home and he was with he took his old lamp with him then what happened yeah then the genie built a castle for aladdin by using his magical skills and soon after aladdin became a rich man and married a princess so the story ends happily ever after so this is all about the story of aladdin and his lamp so next see the next story in poem she mentions the person boots as scamp what do you mean by scamp scamp means a mischievous thing scamp means a mischievous thing mischievous thing so what do you mean by mischievous mischievous means quite naughty character or usually the child will be very mis mischievous character so the person boots is all about a talking cat who talks and he will be with his friends and he makes some adventures and tricks to defeat the enemies jack and jill in order to get the magical beans from them so this story is all about defeating the jack and jill and retrieving the magical beans from them so this story is all about a talking cat clear now let's see the next story yeah it's a blue bird so let this picture children he is a cruel man who has a long blue beard and see these are his 
five wives okay these are his five wives he just killed his five wives and put the corpses in a secret room okay he put the corpses of this wives in a secret room and what happened only he can open the room by the magical key so this is a magical key so this is all about the blue beard story so now let's see the next story it is jack and the bean stalk so there was a boy named jack with a with his mother in a village then what happened they had only cows so his mother asked him to sell the cows in a market he also went to sell a cow in a market at that time there was a man in a road who gave a magical beans to him then immediately he took the magical beans from him and he came home then what happened yes his mother saw the magical beans and she shouted at him what she shouted where do you get this magical beans from who gave you this so this was a question asked by her his mother okay then what happened immediately he just threw the magical beans outside the window then the next morning he saw the magical beans turned into a huge tree so he saw the magical beans turned into a huge tree then what happened jack climbed the magical tree and went to the top at the top of the magical tree there was a huge palace so he went inside the palace and he saw a huge man sitting there who is that huge man he is so called giant so there was a giant in the palace then what happened he went inside and heard a voice there what is the voice fi fi fo fun so this is the voice there and immediately the magical harp turned into a sound and the hen laid a beautiful golden eggs so he was quite shocked by seeing this then he took the golden eggs from there and he went home quickly then what happened soon after by selling the golden eggs in a market he became happily ever after so this is all about the jack and the bean stalk so children i think you all enjoyed by hearing this poems we couldn't find any magical things in our house or in our life because we are living in a real life but these are all called as fairy tales okay the story which is not true or it is called as a fictional story so so children these stories are suggested by a mother so she has given the choices of stories so tell me what are the choices given by the mother yeah it's aladdin and his lamp what puss in the boots and blue beard and the jack and the bean stalk so i think you all fond of jack and the bean stalk yeah even mom too fond of jack and the bean stalk so children this is all about the second seven lines of the poem so thanks for your active listening children i hope you all enjoyed the poem well so we have added the self assessment youtube link ppt subject material and question bank in the below description for the further clarification